Happy Monday, everyone. It's brisk out there. I think temperatures staying steady in those low and mid-teens, now up to 15 in Burlington, 16 degrees in Plattsburgh, 12 in St. J, 14 degrees for Rutland, still 5, though, in Saranac Lake, 8 degrees in Newport, 9 in Montpelier. Just a little bit of that breeze still left over, and there are some wind chills that are down close to and below that zero mark, obviously, here. Going to sting a little bit as you step out, but this isn't anything too far out of the ordinary by January standards. At least we're enjoying that beautiful blue sky here. Mansfield looking great, covered in snow. This is the view from Jericho, and again, that blue sky, they're not alone. Everyone's going to have that here at the moment. So Storm Tracker showing any of those clouds that may have lingered through sunrise this morning having moved out. And we've got that beautiful clear sky across the board for everyone. Now temperatures I think going to stay pretty steady where they are now into the afternoon. Maybe another couple of degrees with the help of that sun. But we are battling a northwest wind around 5 miles per hour right now. Not strong, but enough to keep those temperatures down. So around 20 for Scutney, 14 in Killington, 17 degrees in Brandon. And again, I think we'll hold steady near that 15 mark over the next couple of hours for Milton. Burlington 16 in Northfield, 11 degrees in Newport, 15 in Highgate. Highs topping off near 14 for Messina, 17 in Keysville, and around 15 for Newcomb, 13, 12 for Saranac Lake and Lake Placid. There's that sunshine again, just a few clouds in and out. The theme over the next several days here is going to be dry, and it is going to be cold for a couple of days as well, but that does improve, and we'll feel temperatures climbing in the coming days as well. Not before we find another cold start to the day again tomorrow morning, so mostly clear to partly cloudy sky overnight. Again, a few clouds at best will help those temperatures dive yet again. We're going to be close to zero to start off your Tuesday morning, but then in the afternoon we'll find yes, some clouds around some moments of sun mixed into, but also that little bit of a jump in temperatures compared to today at least. And then from there, Wednesday gets even warmer. So some clouds on Wednesday, but there will also be plenty of sun, I think, especially by the afternoon and yet another dry day ahead of us for, for Wednesday. And that's going to be the case as we head all the way into here Thursday. So there's really not a whole lot going on. In in the next couple of days besides that very gradual warm up that you're going to start to feel. So let's break it down for you today. Definitely the coldest day of the week if you exclude tomorrow morning, which again could dip close to if not barely below that zero mark in the Champlain Valley, probably even colder in the higher terrain. And look at that nice forecast here for the rest of the week here. Sun and clouds Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, but there is that gradual warm up. So closer to 20 tomorrow, probably above 30, maybe even close to that freezing mark on Wednesday and then mid 30s for Thursday and Friday. And again, besides some clouds, we'll still find some sun and dry is the theme. Weekend gets just a little bit more interesting. We've got a stor storm system, looks to be a coastal system that's going to make its way up from the south and west, and that could bring us some snow as early as Saturday. I think the best chance at this point is to see some of that snow on Sunday. Timing of that, whether it ling lingers on through Monday, a lot to be determined with that still. But for now, enjoy this nice quiet weather that you're going to get for the next several days.